G'day guys, how's it going? I'm Aaron Whitnell. This is ACW Sport and what a week it has been in the Champions League. My God, Man United are embarrassing. Just when it all seemed like it was going so well for them. Beat Chelsea, come from behind to beat Palace, then beat Liverpool. And then this thing happened. Um, it has to be, without a shadow of a doubt, the worst home performance I have ever seen in Europe, and it got them dumped out of the Champions League by Sevilla. Quite possibly one of the easiest teams left in the competition. And I don't care what excuses Jose was coming up with, all of which were nonsense, by the way, if you listen to what he had to say after the game. United were absolutely pathetic. Um, and it's quite funny as well, because I've listened to what pundits have had to say and what fans have had to say, and you've got fans saying, oh, it's Fellaini's fault, and we shouldn't have played Fellaini. It was 0-0 when Fellaini went off. And yeah, I know he, he wasn't particularly playing well, but at least it was 0-0 when he went off. Brought on Pogba and wow, did things go wrong. He needs to pull his finger out, um, along with Alexis Sanchez, who, by the way, since joining Man United, has now set three records. Firstly, for losing the ball the most times whilst attempting to dribble with the ball in the Premier League. Two... For losing the ball the most times whilst attempting to dribble with the ball in the FA Cup. And can you guess what the third one's going to be? <laughs> I can. Three, for losing the ball the most times whilst trying to dribble with the ball, this time in the Champions League. It has been an epic fail since he joined the club. Um, and yeah, I just don't know what the thinking was behind the tactics. Why don't you just start with the same eleven that destroyed Liverpool in the opening half an hour? Um, Mata was dropped. All right, Pogba has been ill. Martial has been ill. They, yeah, that's fine. But McTominay, where was he? Um, two holding midfielders whilst you're playing Sevilla at home. Lukaku isolated, but still played actually okay in the end, to be honest. And fair play, he's back on form. He's got something like 10 goals in his last 13 games. Good on you, Romelu. You're back. But, yeah, it was just abysmal. And after an opening, like, decent 10 minutes, Sevilla were just like... Yeah, yeah there's, there's not actually a lot to fear about this place. We're going to grind to this game. Fair play to them. They completely deserve the win. They were brilliant. But, um, yeah, and Ben Yedder, when he came on, wow, he should have had a hat-trick. I mean, the two goals that he scored were embarrassing from United's standpoint. But the goal that he almost scored to complete his hat-trick, I mean, Mata was the last defender. What the hell was Jose watching when after the game he said, oh, no, it was a really good performance. Um, you know, it's it's not a surprise that United have been knocked out because I knocked them out twice. Once with Porto, once with Real Madrid. What? What What are you talking about, you complete nut job? What he's trying to do here is the fact that because PSG are still interested in him, he's trying to separate himself from the fact Man United have failed at this competition. So he's like, ah, it wasn't really my failure. That was more the players and whatnot. I'm fine. I've not United out twice. I've won the Champions League before. Blah, 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 blah. It was your team management that cost them the game. Um, and look, don't get me wrong. I honestly think United will beat Brighton at the weekend and things will go back to being normal. But this is the most, well, this is the worst point of the season for United. The most embarrassing moment from the season so far. If they do lose to Brighton, even though, like I said, I think they will win, I hate to imagine what the atmosphere at Old Trafford will will be like, knowing that second and no trophies is the best United could do this season. They now have to win that FA Cup. And as for the quarterfinals, anyone who draws Sevilla will be buzzing, except for maybe Liverpool, because Liverpool drew with them both times. But still, at least Liverpool know they can score against them. United, God, I mean, it was only when they went 2-0 down they started to play. It was just weird. Very weird. And like I said, for me, the worst time performance that I have ever seen Man United put in at Old Trafford. But at, in Europe, at least, anyway. But uh, no, fair play to Sevilla. They're through. Congratulations to them. And just try and go as far as you can, because I really don't think you can go much further. But yeah, that, that's basically how I see that. One team that can hold their head up with pride, kind of, because at the end of the day, they did give Barca a good go, is Chelsea. They were also knocked out of the Champions League this week. Um, and to be fair to Chelsea, if it wasn't for one man, and you know who I'm going to talk about, Chelsea would probably be in the quarterfinals at this point because they were phenomenal. They hit the woodwork four times between the two legs. So, on any other night, 
Chelsea would be going through. But no, I am of course talking about Lionel Messi, who is without a doubt Ronaldo haters or Ronaldo lovers come at me. I love Ronaldo as well, by the way. I think we should just enjoy the fact they're both here. But for me, Messi is the best there has ever been in world football in terms of complete player. The way he passes, dribbles, holds up the ball, his movement, the way he reads the game, the way he scores, the way he assists. He is just perfection on a football pitch. And when you consider the record he had against Chelsea before this tie came in, uh, all the pressure was on him because everyone was again going with the same old headlines. He can't do it against Chelsea. Chelsea will keep him quiet, nullify him. It'll be an embarrassing moment for Messi. He embarrassed Chelsea and especially Couture, um, who for me had quite a poor performance last night. He admitted it. Yes, he's a tall guy, but especially for the first goal, he should be saving that. You should be expecting him to save it. And then, of course, Messi set up Usman Dembele, who got his first goal for Barcelona. Very well taken goal as well. And when Messi did nutmeg Thibaut Courtois um, with about 10 minutes to go and, you know, sealing the 3-0 win, it was Messi's 100th goal in the Champions League. It's 100 goals in 123 matches. He's only 30. It's disgusting. Disgusting how good this guy is at football. Um, and it makes you wonder if Barcelona are going to win yet another treble. And I know people keep talking about, oh, he hasn't done it on the international stage. Ronaldo's won a Euros, but, you know, Messi hasn't won a World Cup. <laughs> yeah, but Argentina got to all of those finals. Yes, they haven't won any of those finals because it's not just Messi that's in that team. There are other players in that team that didn't show up in those finals. Look at Higuain. How many chances has he missed in finals, especially when they've been laid on a plate by him? By Messi. Um, look, Messi, Ronaldo's won the Euros, all right? Messi's won the treble twice. I'm sure that in some way that has got to be close, all right? I, I know that the Euros comes around once every four years. But the Champions League, as Frank Lampard and Rio Ferdinand said last night, the Champions League is the pinnacle of football now. It is almost like a World Cup every year. That is where you see the absolute best of the best. And every year, him and Ronaldo... Always come out on top. But for me, as much as I love Ronaldo, Ronaldo is a goal scorer for me. Messi is a player. And that is basically why I think Messi's better. And I think he proved the world that last night again. So, uh, so yeah, that's how I see that. But no, as for Barcelona, look, Chelsea, it's sad they went out. Um, they couldn't really done any more. And Conte summed that up when he said, we gave it a rule. But at the end of the day, Messi, how do you stop him? Which is fair. Um, but yeah, as for Barcelona, I mean, they're unbeaten all season since the Community Shield version of, oh, well, since Spain's version of the Community Shield when they lost to Real Madrid. They have won every, well, won or drawn every single game. Um, could they be on to win a third treble since Messi's been at the club? Um, which would be unbelievable. Um, I honestly don't think anyone would want to face Barcelona, including Man City. However, there is one other team that at the moment, I don't think anyone wants to get and I'm not talking about City or Madrid or Liverpool I'm talking about Bayern Munich because they've stunned me again they've forced me to get another prediction wrong I'm really getting bad at that but no they won again over Besiktas this time 3-1 they win the tie 8-1 on aggregate and this is Besiktas team who put out some good teams in the group stage but Bayern have won every single game since Hankers took over um, I think it's like 23 games in a row why would you want to face them? They're back to being amazing. Um, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing where Bayern go because they have got a seriously good chance of winning their own treble as well in their own way. Um, so, yeah, fair play. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing who they get. And then Roma overcame Shakhtar Donetsk. They won 1-0 in Rome thanks to Edin Dzeko's goal that saw them go through to the quarterfinals as well that finish off all of uh, the Champions League last 16 ties. And again, Roma are a dark horse. They could be dangerous. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see who they get as well. I don't think... I think they'll give... If they've got City or Liverpool, I think they'll give them a really close game. So uh, yeah, it will be really, really interesting. But anyway, that is everything I have to say on this week's Champions League fixtures. Please comment below. Let me know. Do you agree with the points I've made and what I've had to say? Always interested to find out your thoughts. As always, I'm Aaron Whitnell. This has been ACW Sport. And I'll see you again soon with another video. Don't forget to subscribe.